is a certified hood classic. I guess I don't really need the mask if I'm in the car, but I just like the way it looks. Hey guys. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sadia, aka K Sadia. It is Juneteenth. I'm rocking my too black, too strong t-shirt. One thing that's happening soon for me is that I am moving. I'm moving into my own place. For those of you who don't know, I'm super, super interested in art in all forms basically i love visual art i don't really consider myself an artist but i want to challenge myself and try to be creative in different ways today what i'm planning to do is make an abstract art piece that i can use in my new apartment instead of paying someone to do it for me i ordered a four by five foot canvas so it's going to be pretty big so it's a pretty large undertaking Woo! it's hot so right now i'm gonna go start gathering up the supplies so I'm in the Michaels trying to figure out what I need. I've never done this before. I need canvas primer. Acrylics, yeah. I'm trying to actually get this canvas to fit in the car. It's a lot bigger than I thought. I brought my grandma's car because hers is a little bigger than mine. But even still, it's still not even fitting in the back. So I think we're going to end up tying it to the roof of the car. Here, the man offered, he said, he said, oh, how far are you going with it? I said, 20 minutes to back to our Philly. He said, oh, I'm going the other way, but I would help. Okay, so we got it. Would you like to be on camera? Oh, no. <laughs> my grandma has graciously offered her car and her time to pick up this canvas. So now we have it in the back and we are good to go. The lady when I was coming up, she asked me was I an artist. I said, uh, no, but I'm just trying something else. <laughs> that was a whole undertaking. Okay, so we have the canvas. <laughs> All right, so this is everything we have. My grandpa has graciously donated his paints and we have a little mixer here, some Liquitex, this goes on last, some brushes that I bought, and then some more paints that I bought. The plan was initially to go outside and do it, but because it's about to rain and it's windy outside, I think my grandpa said it was okay for me to just do it in the kitchen. So we're gonna just try it here and see. How long do you think this will take to dry? This this part right here? It will dry rapidly. Uh, oh, okay. Half an hour it should be finished. Try not to get too much on the bottom down there. Otherwise you'll be stepping in it. <laughs> this is already. Huh? I said this is already what? a little bit crazy. Yeah, you, you'll handle it fine. Try to keep it smooth, that's all. Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> start out with some greens and some blues guys i i have no idea what i'm doing but we're just, we're just you know we're gonna okay hey guys so here i am starting the painting I was inspired by an artist named Brady Kraus who does a lot of abstract art live painting videos on YouTube. I watched one of her videos recently and decided I wanted to do something similar. Initially I tried to pick a color palette that would match the color scheme that I picked for my living room but then I ended up using basically every color I had. I started with the cooler colors, greens and blues, I used purple as a transition shade and then went in with warmer colors. For the most part, I use two medium sized brushes and then I also use the end of the brush as well to add a scraping effect to the canvas and I also did some splatter droplets as well. The spray bottle was just filled with water and I used that to add some drip effects to the painting. And I wanted to fill the full canvas with color and then add another layer of warmer colors after I finish with the cooler colors. Here I am smacking the canvas. I'm not really sure what I was doing at this point. 
it's really just a process of trial and error. Um, I didn't really come in with an idea of what I wanted it to look like. I just knew that I wanted it to be colorful. And this was my first time attempting to do a painting on this scale in an in, in abstract style. But once I got going, I realized it was a lot of fun and I stopped worrying about how it would look in the end. And I'm realizing as I'm watching it back that I keep making this weird grimace face. I think that's just what happens when I'm concentrating on something. It's like I'm gritting my teeth. I don't know, but <laughs> excuse my weird facial expressions. I was I was in the zone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So the full painting took about two and a half hours to complete and then I came back the next day to add the varnish to the top and in total it cost me around $200 I would say for all of the supplies, for the paint, for the canvas. I actually caught Michaels when they were on the sale which was great but overall it was a lot cheaper than it would have been to actually purchase this from an artist so I'm happy about that and it was fun too. So I think I'm done with the first layer. So this is all the cooler colors and I'm gonna do another layer of like reds, pinks. I'm gonna let it sit for like a half an hour and then I'm gonna come back and do some warmer colors on top. I think it's kind of cool so far. I'm excited to see how it turns out. So after the first layer was dry, I just went back in with white and added some random <laughs> some random marks and some splatters, some more lines. And this was another idea I got from Betty Krause. She had added some red rectangles to the corner of her painting. And to me, they reminded me of roses. So I wanted to add that to mine as well. And I feel like the red makes it stand out a little bit more. So at this point was when I finally really started to see the vision. I liked the color combinations, I liked how it was coming together, and I was really pleased with the result. And now I'm just adding a final layer of color to the top, filling in the blank spots. I just wanted the whole thing to be like really full with vibrant colors. I'm basically finished. I'm really, really pleased with how it turned out. The only thing I need to do is add varnish to the top, but I'm gonna wait until tomorrow to do that to make sure that it's fully, fully dry. I've already cleaned up. I'm getting ready to head out and then I'll come back tomorrow to finish up. Also just wanted to, to chat about the state of the world at this current moment and mental health and 
how I'm trying to maintain my sanity with all the craziness that's going on. There's a whole pandemic happening. Then of course, there's all the issues of racism and police brutality, which are finally really being acknowledged, although they've been happening for centuries. So with all the stuff that's going on in the world, on the news, on social media, I feel like I've had to really disconnect from everything that's going on. Um, I deleted my social media. Well, deleted my Instagram. I just felt like it was too overwhelming, you know, like constantly being bombarded with videos of black people being attacked by police, black women being attacked by black men. I realized that I need to, in order to preserve my sanity, I would need to take a step away. So for the past, I would say like week and a half, I've been really trying to focus inward and doing things to provide me with my own sense of contentment in the midst of all the craziness that's going on. So. I think this art project is one example of me trying to get back to that space of, of creativity and joy and flow and doing something that makes me feel good and I feel genuinely happy doing. I feel better mentally when I have a, an established routine. So it's like, okay, even if I feel like crap, I know that I've checked off at least the basics on my everyday to-do list. So that's journaling, that's making my prayers, that's doing some form of exercise. So I have those things to kind of hold myself accountable. Lately, I've been doing this Chloe Ting 14 day challenge and bruh, like, I'm just here to tell you, don't feel guilty for prioritizing your own contentment, your own joy. I feel like this life, has so many different elements that can really bog you down, that can really mess with your mental. And of course we all have days where we don't really feel well mentally, but please take the time that you need to invest in yourself, to invest in your mental health in whatever way that looks like for you. Right now I'm about to go to my grandma's house. I have to add the varnish to the top and then it'll be finished. And then I have to pack up my clothes because I have a lot of stuff that's just been sitting in her basement forever. I want to do more like, chatty videos but at the same time i'm hesitant to talk too much because it's like do y'all really do y'all really want to see me sit here and talk like is that what y'all came for i don't really know All right guys, I think it's done. I added the gloss varnish, so now I'm gonna let it sit and dry and hopefully it looks nice and shiny. Obviously, abstract art isn't for everyone, but I love it. It's almost like intuitive art, like you don't have to think so much about what you're doing. You can just splash colors on a canvas and nine times out of 10, it'll come out cool. Commission's now open. <laughs> so now I'm gonna leave it for about an hour go do some packing and then come back and check it out so it's a couple hours later I'm still in my grandparents house so for the past couple of months I've been keeping most of my clothes here but now that I have my own place I can finally pack up everything they've been so kind to let me just like use their basement as my storage space that oh sorry I just got a text and the sound like jolting me is so loud oh let me actually show you so my grandfather who i call pop up is an artist he has some of his paintings down here let me show you guys so he made this in what does that say i think in the late 60s but it's all about the civil rights movement and that's dr king in the middle and this here in 1967 He has a couple more upstairs too. This is my guitar from 10 years ago. When I first started taking lessons, it's so dusty. My packing is done. My painting is done. I feel super accomplished. Today and yesterday were like really productive, wholesome days.
is a certified hood classic.